It's generally faster to create applications with React Native. The number of integrations is growing, the number of bridges uh, and uh, extensions is uh, growing very fast. The layouting of React Native, which is improving overall experience and making it smoother, is better from day to day, from release to release. So it's definitely faster to find someone to write something in React Native and to prototype your applications in React Native. I would choose React Native to create at least a prototype of your application and then decide if you really need that amazing performance or you have enough money to hire iOS and Android developers instead of React Native. If yes, then go for it. If not, let's stay on the React Native. Let's, just, let's join uh, BrainHub and, and write this application that way. One interesting thing with uh, React Native is uh, because uh, it is very close to React, uh, of course. That gives us uh, some chances, chances to uh, develop applications in a certain way. For example, let's assume that our client needs a website and a mobile application and that they are, uh, have a very similar uh, user interface. So in fact, when you think, can we develop one user interface and just display it on, uh, in website and uh, uh, mobile application immediately? And of course, it's not that easy. But uh, if you choose proper architecture, if you develop uh, core components and just translate how it should be displayed in React and how it should be displayed in React Native, then you can easily uh, just develop two applications uh, in one big shot. So I think that's, that's worth it using React uh, Native uh, with React as well. Uh, it's just uh, another way how we can uh, develop faster.